Hi everyone, and welcome to Zen with Sven. Oh, and today we'll enter the crafty world of tools. Key tools, that is. So the first episode we bought it, then we heated it, we didn't boil it, and now we're going to see where we're going to steep our tea in. Obviously there's a lot of tools here, different sizes, shapes, colors, prices, and so on. Let's just do the basics here, shall we? First off, bags. They rank number one for easiness, but it comes with a big butt. If you open a standard tea bag, you'll often notice what is in tea terms called dust. Open the tea bag. It is the lowest quality of tea. More on quality next episode. Look at it like this. If you store your herbs in full leaves, they'll retain their flavor much longer. If you store them in an air and light tight container. If you got crushed leaves or dust, like in this case, what you get is a much more flavorless taste. So that's what you get when you buy bags, flavorless garbage. So full leaves, better. Now how do we steep our tea? First off, bags. Wait, what? If you use your own bags, be sure, like these, to use chlorine-free bags that are large enough so they can fit your leaves. Another option is the pyramid bag because it has slightly more space for the tea leaves to grow. So the second option is filters. There are three types that I would recommend. There are dozens more, but these are the ones that I use. First one is silicon. You can see it's been slightly used, uh, but it does its work very well. Second one, glass. Pretty large, so very good for your leaves to grow. Uh, third one, stainless steel. Um, there's a lot of shapes here, different sizes and prices. Uh, for instance, this cute teapot that I have. Um, there's this one, which is very useful to put in your cup. And this one as well, because it's slightly larger. So overall, keep your filters large enough, because it's very important for your leaves to grow. Another option is a tea strainer. Big advantage here is that you can just brew your tea inside of your pot, pour your tea in your cup, and the leaves have enough space to grow and steep well. So the last part are pots. Again, there are very many different sizes, shapes, and so on. I just recommend four types. First one is clay, I didn't bring one, because when you have a clay pot, you can only just pour one type of tea inside. If it doesn't contain a glaze, the clay pot, it absorbs your tea. Second one, ceramics, it's this one. It's more or less designy often. Uh, for me, the big disadvantage of a ceramics pot is that you can't see through it. Uh, that's why I would prefer a glass one. Uh, number four, that's a cast iron one. Be sure that it is glazed on the inside because otherwise it would just rust. Big advantage here is that the cast iron one keeps the warmth of your tea. Right, so thank you very much for watching. Just remember, no bags. If you're buying filters, size does matter. Or a strainer works fine as well. If you're buying pots, glass ones, ceramics, clay ones, be sure that they're glazed if they're clay or iron. When you're buying cups, buy the ones without an ear because it's pretty good. If you like this, please subscribe below or give a comment if you've got some extra tips and tricks you would like to see explained. Or follow me on Facebook for some extra behind the scenes. Thank you very much. Bye bye.